It's your boy King Brown on it. Today I'm coming at you with another reaction video. Well, this is not a reaction video. This is an album review of XXX Tentacion's question mark. Um, I'm interested to see how, what this album holds and what this album entails. His last album was a let down to some people, but it was everything that other people needed. His stuff is really hit or miss with people like that. With me, it's hit or miss too. I feel like he's trying to do the right thing, trying to say the right stuff, trying to convey the right message, but it's not really coming across in music like that. I feel like he has a lot to say, but he don't know how to say it, if that makes sense. Don't kill me, X fans. But this project is only 37 minutes, and a lot of these tracks are not even like two minutes long. It's only um, two tracks that are three minutes on here. Like, X, you be dropping these short albums, bro. Like, really short. It's like... Only one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of your tracks are over a minute. Like over, yeah, over like two minutes and above. And you have 18 tracks. Like, I don't get it. But I feel like X really isn't going to hit his peak musically until he's like in his late 20s, mid 20s. So I'm, I'm still like, I'm judging him like off his work. But I feel like he's got a lot to grow, a lot of room to grow. Even if like, even if this project is bad, even if this project is okay, even if this project is great, I feel like he's not gonna hit his peak until he's in his mid twenties. That's when we really gonna get the, you know, the the ex that really is gonna really know what he wants to say and how to say it. Uh, Cause you know, with age comes wisdom. I feel like when he gets to his mid twenties, that is when he's gonna hit his peak, and like everything he do is just gonna be so dope. Cause he has a lot he wants to say. He he. He's trying to do the right thing, trying to inspire people, trying to trying to create peace, love, positivity, trying to do some logic stuff, uh, and trying to you know help people that are like you know sad and stuff. Uh, I respect it. I respect the grind. Let's see what he got to do. Question mark by XXX Tentacion album review. Interested to see what's gonna happen. 18 tracks, 37 minutes. Let's get it. Subscribe, hit that like button, join the Brando fam, be the best family on YouTube, because you're not fans, we are family, we closer than that, tell y'all that every video, please subscribe right now, subscribe, okay, and like the video, let's go, X, let's see what you got! Yeah. Track one, introduction. Instructions. To let my energy and mind be felt mm -hmm. in a less aggressive way, but a more passive and genius way was ideal with this album. Show the versatility and to show the open to open minds in itself was the goal of this album, and appreciation for myself was the goal of this album. Okay, but okay. To myself was the goal of this album. This warning and set of instructions. If you are not open-minded. Before you listen to this album, open your mind. You've never been into the alternative sound and have not been open to trying different things. Open your mind before you listen to this album. This album is far different, far more versatile, far more uplifting than the last. It's something you can find comfort in. It's very comforting but discomforting at the same time. Again, you're entering my mind. <laughs> Feeling my insanity, feeling my, my genius, my energy. Enjoy. We're going to pause it right there. I just wanted to listen to the whole thing before I put my input on it. He's basically saying, if you don't open your mind, if you don't come in this thinking like, you know, I have to think differently than I already have. If I don't go into this project, clear your mind, free your mind, free yourself. Just listen to the album, like even though you might have assumptions and all that, it's a little bit, it's not as, it's not as sad as the last album, that's what I'm getting, like it's not as, like down as the last album, open your mind, like just listen to the music, I feel like that's what he's trying to say, just listen to the music, just do that. Next track, we got Alone Part 3, this is the second track, it's a minute and 50 seconds. This is actually shorter than the introduction. Yeah, 
Alex, I thought you told us this one gonna be sad right now. I'm getting the sad vibes right now, okay? You said it's gonna be a little bit more uplifting. I'm kinda getting a little sad vibes. Just saying you all alone. You say you gonna leave me alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she hurt you, bro. I feel like you can just sense the passion. Thought you told us that was gonna be a little, you know, a little up more uplifting. That you said she put your heart beneath her feet. She stepped on it. She don't care. The song is alone. I'm kind of getting a little, little low vibes, but I mean, I like it. I feel like, I feel like on these tracks, I'm gonna feel like these should be longer to just to go more in depth into what you're feeling. Cause like this, this, this some deep stuff. X be, X be like really deep. Like you know how them pictures they used to have like the memes and stuff when people get high and they think like real deep. That's X every day, 24/7, like on steroids. Okay, next track, Moonlight. This one's two minutes. We got a two minute track right now. Didn't take nothing but the third one. Yeah. Mm. Okay, this feel like this is gonna be a little bit more beat. Okay, feel like we just gonna be able to vibe out to this. Hello, young thug, gonna vibes. Come on. Ooh. I like this sound, X. Mm. I feel like you should have young thug or gonna on this song. Get one of the two, and this song is just gonna be slam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. This song is not too long, but if it was gonna be any time added onto it, it was gonna have to be a Young Thug or a ton of verse. Somebody who really gonna capture what he's trying to do. You can tell he's drawing inspiration from a Young Thug, from a Gunner who kind of rap like kind of the same. I, I feel you. I like the track. I mess with it. Next track, sad. DJ Academic said that this is gonna be his next platinum hit. So I'm 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 expecting greatness. I didn't listen to it. I wanted to wait to the album. Mm. I didn't listen to none of the singles. Other than well, it wasn't on the album, but I listened to this King's Dead with uh, Joey Badass. <coughs> Hold on. Hmm. Okay, I get where DJ Academic's coming from. Hmm. These songs aren't annoying. They aren't annoying me or anything like that. I like I like the sound that he's going for right now. Okay. Cause X, you know, on these he, he tracks seem a little, you know, it's upbeat. It's he right, it's upbeat a little bit more, but you know, you still you still have that little depressing topic. So, who hurt you, bro? I like the production so far since we got like the beat playing right now. I like the production. Inside, okay. These songs are kind of simple. So I can really like, I, I got this song before the song was over. I got the chorus before it was over. These songs are kind of simple a little bit, in a way, but in a good way. Next track, The Remedy for a Broken Heart, you know, in quotations, Why Am I So In Love? Let's go. Ooh. Why you spin like that, X? Okay. I like how he don't stick to one flow through the whole thing. Through these five tracks. It's never been one specific sound that he's going through. He's, he's showing a little bit of versatility, okay? He's showing me that he can do a lot of things right, on a lot of different beats. Deliver a lot of different songs. I'm not annoyed by 
about his singing. He don't do the best job at singing, but I'm not annoyed by what by by um his singing and all that. It's not like other people who rappers when they try to sing, they sound annoying. His is not like that, but I know he's not the best of singing. Like he's not the best singer. Right now, this album is sound a little bit like a, 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 a just a breakup song, a sad breakup song. Like dealing with a breakup, or something like that. Who broke your heart, X? Just let us know. Let that hurt go, bro. Make good music. Continue to make good music. Next track for 555. Let's see what you got for flow 555. Feel like you gonna come with a hard hitting sound. This beat sound aggressive. Remind me a little bit. Look at me, just with his aggressiveness. I'm so used to, you know, sad X and depressed X. Like, hold on, man. Hold on. Keep, keep, keep it going, though. It's, it's kind of hard to understand what he's saying a little bit. It's kind of like um, on Tyler the Creator's Cherry Bomb. You could like, could like understand. You could understand it, but it's, you gotta really listen for it. Like on Cherry Bomb, the actual song, not the album. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna go crazy at his concert. You can see him now crowd surfing to this song. Everybody's just going crazy waiting on the beat to drop. It's not my favorite track. I feel like it's gonna be a, a, a song that is gonna really turn up his crowd at his concerts. Next track, Numb. We're back to sadness. Put him and Jaden Smith in a rock group. Flames all day. Just, just to let that, just to let that be known. Put him on a song like "Watch Me." You know what I mean. X has these kind of simple lyrics. Like, I mean, I'm not expecting this. I'm, yeah, I am. I'm expecting a little bit more deepness in his songs, but it's kind of a little simple. I love the production on here, though. Like, this album has great production. I love track twos, Alone Part 3. Great, great. I love that song. It's instrumental. It's great. And that's when I like this one, too. The production on this album is great. Next track, Infinity, 888, Joey Badass. Let's see what y'all got. Is this going to be like a... Like an interlude, like how ASAP Rocky was on Jaden's. Hold on, whoa. I catch all diseases in the world so the world won't have no more diseases, you feel me? Huh? Okay. Yeah. You think you got a little bust and now you can't get stung. Mm. Keep a razor blade tuck on me under my tongue. Don't let me have to tell these niggas about the city I'm from. Spoke never this for my niggas trapped in cells like salmonella. Ooh. I could do this shit with no effort, no pressure, no gimmick shit, no radio records. Okay. It might be best to protect your neck or profess your neck to the guard. He might bless you. Great feature. They mixtape gonna be fire. Cause I heard they dropping the mixtape. Their mixtape is gonna be fire. If they come, if Joey Badass is coming in like this, and X, I feel like X is really gonna try to rap, rap for this part. I, I'm just before before this part really played. I feel like he's gonna try to rap, rap, and this is gonna be great. I told you he was gonna be spitting. This track was, to me, this is the best track so far. 
because Joey Badass free trick. Blah, I should not say free trick. His feature is really great on this. I like this feature. Next track going down. Back to the minute tracks. Let's see what this track has to offer in a minute and 55 seconds. And we got a couple minute tracks with this and uh, Pain. Come on. Tia, Tia. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, she don't want to go to Oh. 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 Come on, X got a, X got a couple, couple stuff that can play on the radio on her. This album is kind of an emotional roller coaster. Sometimes you're going up and going down. It's like, in the ironic going down. Next track, Pain equals best friend, featuring Travis Baker. Let's go. I feel like this is gonna be a sadder track. I was right. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting it to go that route. I wasn't expecting it to go like that. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Next track is going to be Dollar Signs featuring Mac Ox. Maybe this is going back up. Oh. Like, oh. Like, oh. Like. See, I told y'all the songs. Spin on my dick like a bait blade. Mind to get hit like AK. These boys are better than they This album really is an album of ups and downs. Really. One track he's happy, one track he's like down and sad. I don't. I like the contrast. Because we're not getting a full. Turn up album, we're not getting a full sad album, okay? It's a happy medium, I guess. This was decent for what it was. Next track, Love Yourself Interlude. This is a 48 second interlude. Next track, Smash, featuring PMD Rock. Nine minutes. It's funny how he can fit a chorus, two choruses in a minute in 50 seconds. Hold on. Next track, I don't even speak English. LOL. Hold on, is this the longest track? This is the longest track on the album. Three minutes and 12 seconds. understand what they saying but I like how it sound okay I like 
like this. I like this. You know how DJ Academics calls uh, some of Drake music Mexican Drizzy? This is Mexican X. Mexican X X X Tentacion. But this is a nice track. I like it. I couldn't understand the parts when they was talking in Spanish because I don't even speak any, uh, I can't talk. I don't even speak Spanish LOL like the track. Uh, but yeah, it was good for what it was. Next track, Changes. The rest of these tracks are under 2 minutes and 3 seconds. And we got three more to go after this. What do you have for us, X? What can you convey in four two-minute tracks? X just put out an R&B album. You sing, you sing a lot anyway. You might as well put it on an R&B album. I like this song a lot. I feel like this is the deepest he goes so far on this album. Other than on Alone. I like Alone a lot. Like out of the sadder tracks, Alone Part 3, and then Changes. I like this. Next track, Hope. Because it's going to be over. No more too many tracks. It's just one minute. Mm, okay. We're going we to turn this up for them, okay? I ain't even going to do no commentary. I'm just going to vibe out to this. This is for the part of people, okay? You sing that, boy. You sing that. I like it. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't going to talk, but I like it a lot. I like this a lot. Alright, I don't know how to pronounce this track. This track 17, y'all should know how to pronounce it. I don't. I'm not gonna even butcher it. Let's just get into the track, I guess. Voices in your voices in your voices in your head. So gentle trip for money, make it all make your own. You can tell he draws a lot of inspiration from Rocky albums. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm interested to see how I Am Dante is gonna react to this album, especially these songs where he just switch up and just go go buck wild. Next track. This is track 18, the last track before I close my eyes. What you got for us? The last minute and 40 seconds we got with you, other than my final thoughts, okay? Changing in the distance, time consumes the image. I like the way he's closing out this album with a mellow track. Get you calm, cool before you finish the album. My mind was open the whole album. I like the violin ballad. Well, that's been the album. That's been Question Mark by XXX Tentacion. Final thoughts coming up right now. Let me level with you. Let me level with you right, right now, okay? If you're watching this, I don't know if you are. You got a lot of potential. You got a lot to say, like I said before. But you don't necessarily know how to say it. You don't know how to put... You don't know how to convey the message, okay? A lot of these tracks, I think, are like a verse too short. You could have put verses on a lot of these, and then some of them I think the timing on it was actually perfect. Some of them that I thought was good for what it was, and in the timing aspect, like it was, it was, 
it should have been a one minute track, a two minute track. It should have been that. But some of them, you know, you could have added a, a verse on that. The verse with uh, PNB Rock, you could have added a verse because it felt like it was just straight chorus from you and the only verse was from PNB Rock. I wanted to hear you rap or do whatever on here. This album was an emotional roller coaster. You had ups, you had downs. Uh, you either were very sad during this album or your, your, your mood, like me listening to this album, is going to be very down. And then it's going to be upbeat and turning up the next moment. I like, I like that about this. You never get too much of one thing. It never gets... Uh, you never get too much of one thing. You never are too sad. You never turn it up the whole time. I like the versatility. I like how you draw inspiration from, you know, other artists and stuff like that. I know other people don't like that because, like, you biting each other's flow. But everybody, everybody makes music that's similar in a bit because you want to pay homage to the people who, you know, who music that you like and who inspire you to make music. I feel like you're making music that you want to make. I feel like your prime is still going to be in your 20s. Uh, I compare you to Jaden Smith because y'all in the same little age, y'all in the same age bracket. Uh, I feel like he's a little bit more, he, he, how do I put this? He's a little bit more up there in the quality a little bit, and you, you're getting there. And when you get there, you're just going to skyrocket up. It's like, you know, your ceiling is high because you got a big fan base. A lot of people want to hear what you got to say. You got a lot to say. Give us more time, okay? Give us more time. You gave us 18 tracks. But it was only 37 minutes. We need more time. We need more time to, for you to get on a subject and stick with it. It's like all these songs are just like, once we get into it, it's over. Once we get into it, it's over. And then uh, the track with Joey Badass, Infinity, that was a great song. I love uh, Alone Part 3. I love Sad, DJ Academics, you were right. For real. Floor uh, 555, you was wildin', you was wildin'. I like I Don't um, Even Speak Spanish, LOL. I love that track too. I like Hope, I like uh, Changes. Changes to me was your most deep track, uh, but it was only two minutes and two seconds. You could've went more into it. I feel like you got a lot to say. I keep saying it, you got a lot to say. You don't know how to say it. You don't, you need more time, okay? Some things you gotta go into detail, okay? On some of these tracks, it's like, you know, like I said, you very, you kind of sad, some of them up there, upbeat. It is something that you need to open your mind for if you're going to listen to this. If you're going to listen to this, do not go in here thinking about, you know, X is crazy, X is this, whatever, whatever. Go into this thinking like nothing. Don't think anything. Go in it with a clear mind like you said in the introduction. The introduction was actually great because it prepped you, it prepped me. Because I had expectations, I had everything, but I dropped them. I just listened to it. I enjoyed most of it. I enjoyed, yeah, I enjoyed most of it. Some of it, you still need to grow as an artist. You do. You got potential, for real. Like, you really have potential. It's not terrible. It's not bad. It's an okay album. It's not the best album I've listened to. Uh, you got work to do, man. And that's a good thing, okay? It's a good thing because you, you're getting better. Your ceiling's high. You're going to be turning up at your concerts, I know that. If you like this video, man, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, do that. If you're returning to the channel, you already know what this is. Like it, comment, other stuff you want me to review, and all that stuff. If you're new to the channel, got to get up close and personal with you. Do this thing. It's called the three clicks. Easiest thing you ever will do in your life. Like the video. Subscribe. Hit them post notifications. Three clicks. You already on the page, already on the channel. I, I like a lot of this stuff, and a lot of it is like hit or miss. It's going to be hit or miss for a lot of people. It's Big Boy King Brando. Peace, X. Keep growing. You got more room to grow. This is a good thing, okay? It's not a bad thing. Critiques are good things, okay? Use it. Make yourself better. Interested to hear your next project. Grow some more. And you're going to be good, okay? It's Big Boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah.